welcome so the topic is about ic's advantages limitations and classifications the introduction for ic's so ic integrated circuits so electronic circuitry has undergone uh, tremendous changes since the introduction of triode in 1907 after the invention of 1948 the, the size of the electronic circuits has reduced to a large extent developments of pcbs has still reduced the size of electronic components and in the early 1960s view of the microelectronics was introduced uh, with the aim of reducing the size weight and power of military electronic systems because of increased use of these simple electronic components so microelectronics is the area of technology associated with an apply to the realization of electronic systems made of very small electronic parts or elements so after the reduction that's called as integrated circuits ic's an IC is a complete electronic circuit in which both active and passive components are fabricated on a single tiny chip of silicon. Integrated circuit advantages are it is extremely small in size, very small weight, reduced cost, high reliability, increased response time and speed, low power consumption and easy replacement since the cost is very less. Drawbacks and scale of integration the ic drawbacks are coils or inductors cannot be fabricated in an ic ic's function at fairly low voltages they handle very less amount of power they are quite delicate and cannot withstand rough handling or excessive heat scale of integration small so the ic's were introduced with small scale integration chips ssi which had less than 12 components integrated into it medium scale integration msi 12 to 99 components large scale integration lsi 100 to 9999 components very vlsi very large scale integration 10000 to 99000 number of components ultra large scale integration ulsi and finally giga scale integration which had nearly 1 million components integrated inside the chip classification of ic's ICs are classified by their structure as monolithic ICs, film ICs, which constitute of thick and thin film ICs, and hybrid ICs. Monolithic ICs, both active and passive components are fabricated inseparably within the semiconductor substrate. Film ICs, uh, they are, films can be used as passive com circuit components uh, such as resistors and capacitors, transistors, uh, diodes etc are added as external discrete component to the substrate to complete the circuit fabric fabrication hybrid ic's is the combining of two or more ic types or combining one or more integrated ic types and discrete components comparison between the ic's each ic has its own advantages and drawbacks advantages of monolithic ic's is it is of low cost and high reliability Disadvantages of monolithic IC is isolation between components is poor since all of them are placed very near to each other. Range of values of passive components used in the circuit is very small. The inductors cannot be fabricated in an IC and therefore no flexibility in circuit design. Of film ICs, the advantages are passive components with broader range of values can be formed. Isolation between their components is better compared to the monolithic ICs. Greater flexibility in circuit design. Disadvantages not being able to fabricate active components in it. Comparatively, the cost is higher and little, the size is also little bigger. Linear ICs, LICs are linear integrated circuits. Uh, they are also known as analog ICs. Their inputs and outputs are taken as continuous range of values and outputs are generally proportional to the input. As compared to the digital ICs, LICs are used Hmm? Uh, lesser. They are frequently used in op amp, small signal amplifiers, power amplifiers, RF and IF amplifiers, microwave amplifiers, multipliers, voltage comparators, voltage regulators, etc. So, the man by their function, the ICs are classified. The LICs with same specifications built by different persons will have their own different names. For example, op amp 741. Uh, named by National Semiconductors LM741 by Motorola it is called MC1741 RCA it is CA3741 and Texas Instruments it is called SN5274 LIC many classes are there like A, B, C, E, S, N, S, C Some of the main classes of ARPAM741 are 741 is used for military grade op-amp uh, 
741C commercial grade of pump, 741A improved version of the basic 741, 741E improved version of 741C and 741S is for military applications. Digital integrated circuits are mostly used in computer industries, in computers etc. Uh, they include circuits like logic gates, flip flops, counters, clock chips, calculators, chips, memory chips, microprocessors, etc. The raw materials used for preparation of ICR, sand, silicon, metal, metallurgical grade silicon MGS and electronics grade silicon EGS. These are about the introduction for ICs. Thank you.